When you're trying to replace your axle, you need another capacity, spring centers, and hub face measurements. Here are some tips to help you get the proper axle. There are a few different ways to find out what capacity axles you may need. The first and easiest place to start is the tongue or neck of the trailer. If you bought a trailer that was manufactured by a company, there will be a tag with the VIN number and the weight capacities of the trailer. Usually this is located on the driver side of the trailer. Another way we can determine which axle we need is by measuring the diameter of the axle. Our example today will be a 3,500 pound axle. This tube measures at 2 and 3 eighths inch. Using this measurement, you can identify the axle with this number. The third way we can easily find out the capacity of our axle is looking at the bolt pattern. With our 3.5K axles, there are two common bolt patterns, 5x4.5 and 5x5. This is one of the most important measurements to making sure your axle will fit. These two measurements consist of the length between the two hub faces and the same thing with the spring centers. To measure your hub face, take your tape, start at the outer face on one side of the hub and go to the same point on the opposite side. This gives us our first set of numbers in our measurement. To find the measurement of your spring centers, start your tape at the center of the spring seat and go across to the other one at the same point and measure this distance. Common measurements for our 3.5K axles are 9580, 8570, 7358, and 6146. The first number is your hub face measurement, and the second is your spring seat. So let's recap. When buying a replacement axle, we have shown you how to find certain measurements, how to find your axle capacity, how to determine your bolt pattern, and lastly, how to find the hub face and spring seat measurements. If you need any assistance or have any questions, please feel free to contact our sales team.